Welcome back to The Last Door, Season 2, Episode 2. I just got this golden key from the painting over here, so let's go see what it actually goes to. There's three locked doors that I can think of. There's the bird room, the basement, and the attic. Let's go try it on the bird room. I feel like a golden key should go to a golden door. But none of the doors are gold, and apparently it doesn't go to that one. It says it won't open. It doesn't say it's locked, so I'm assuming it doesn't work. Nope. No, don't try it again. Alright, that's to the attic. Aha. And this is obviously related to the note. The last clue I got was, The question is the world from the peak of man's tallest tower, which I guess is what I'm about to ascend, to the attic. The answer yearns up to it from the root of life and time itself. Again, I think the last part is referencing a tree. So the question is the tower that I'm going up into. The answer to the tower is the tree? Uh, maybe it'll make sense later. I hope. A shelf covered in old ornaments. Pieces of metalwork and pipes of strange shapes. Some kind of round mechanism. Mmm, another one of these. Okay. So that must be why the o the other one of these only had two options. Does this one only have two as well? So I got like a hawk and a crow. Yeah, so that's why it only has two. It's because it's a combination of this plus the other one plus maybe some more of these that produces something with more than just two permutations. Now there's four permutations. Well, I guess I'm going to want it on whatever it wasn't on by default. I don't remember what it was originally on, actually. I'm just going to say that's fine. Sure. An unusual electrical device. I'm unfamiliar with its function but I can tell that there is a piece of equipment missing. Hmm. I'm guessing this is the question? Of which the answer lies at the tree? Or something? I mean, at first blush, this looks like some sort of a radio or something, some sort of an audio device, given this, but it also looks like there's a freaking light bulb on top. It's kind of weird. Huh? Okay. Well, this is missing something, so I don't think it matters what I actually do with these things. I don't think there's a point in messing with it at the moment. Any buttons I'm missing? Always sweep the screen. Don't forget. It's important. Nope. Alright, so this one has three options. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three options and eight options. Hmm. Okay. There's the tree. The answer yearns up to it from the very root of life and time itself. I should check if there's something hidden near that tree. Probably the missing part of the device, I'm assuming. Ooh, can I see whether the masks are actually off from up here? That would be very cool. Yeah! Oh, that's so clever! I love that they did that. I was just thinking, if I wanted to check whether the messing with the device up here would actually change their masks, I would have to go all the way back down to check. But no, they made it seem just look out the window. That's actually really smart. Alright, so I don't think anything's changed from how it was before, because the way I left things was with only two of them having removed their masks. Yeah, Sage is removed. That person has not. And that person has not. And this person is just cloaked, so I don't think that matters.
All right, well, given that, let me go mess with this. Well, that just made things worse. Now this person has their mask back on. Hmm. But it's possible the combination of this set to that, plus reversing the other one, might improve things. So I'm going to leave it and see whether that's true. Because so far I've tried three of the permutations. Let's try the fourth. Check the tree while we're here. It looks as though something has been concealed beneath the thick roots. Another note and a key bound together. Ah, either to the bird room or to the basement. Then you'll be ready to climb to the tallest heights, and from there to look down to the deepest roots. It is a truth our ancestors knew, and with Stone Silence came to unknow. Stone Silence. Must be talking about the statues. And truth is capitalized for some reason. It is a truth. Eh, whatever. I don't care about that right now. Key has been engraved with the shape of a feather. Well, now I know what the key goes to. Alright, let me see if more of them move their masks. No, that just made things worse. Okay, so maybe the combinations don't matter. Each one just has its individual function, maybe. And they're completely independent. Possibly. Just to make sure I don't forget, I'm just going to go back up there and switch the other one. Ah, I feel better. Let's make sure it actually worked. Should be two of them. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure the crows aren't going to remind me of death or anything like that. No. I'm assuming they're crows. Pretty safe bet. Inside the cage, there is a small bird with black and white wings and a feathered crest. The sign reads... Something that I'm not going to try to pronounce. Okay, so it's not actually a crow, it's just a... a bird. Alright, I think the type of bird is probably going to be important. Crow with black and gray feathers. Corvus Corix. So that's a crow. Bust of the Greek philosopher. Anaxagoras. That's a cool name. <laughs> Wait, I can move it? A truth that our ancestors knew and through stone silence came to unknow. There's a small compartment in the base of the bust. Inside this, a note. Oh! I totally meant to do that. That only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. Uh, wait, what? H hold on, did I skip something? Does that continue on from what he just said previously? It is a truth our ancestors knew and with stone silence came to unknow. That only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. I guess the whole thing is kind of one continuous thing. Maybe. Not sure. Hmm. 
Is that supposed to help, though? Only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. Have I seen anything that reminds me of jaws? Or horror? Hmm. No? Also, these birds are really fucking loud. Oh my god. Tortoise Marula. Yeah, these colors are important somehow. A curious bird with long legs. Pro Profiro Aleni. Aleni? Eh, who knows? Somebody knows, but it's not me. An embroidered cloth covers this cage. On it is written, If the birds are silent. The phrase trails off. Okay, so I do need to shut up the birds. A bird with red feathers on its head and breast. Arathicus rebulica. Re no, not Rebulica. Rebucula. Re re whatever. Hmm. Oh, I can just take the cloth off. Well, the bird inside the cage, the one that was covered. Yellowish brown feathers, sign of the cage reads Cardulus Flavorost Flavorostris. Are you a special bird? Why are you covered? Yeah, if the birds fall silent. Well, um, I know you can cover cages. If you cover the cage of a bird, they will go silent, typically. So I could use this to make them go silent, but only to make one cage go silent. One bird. Unless I plan on somehow multiplying the cloth in some sort of a cloning machine. Can I put it on anyone that I want? Yeah. Bird inside grows suddenly... Bird inside grows suddenly quiet. It's gotta be used for something. Do I need to put it on a particular cage? Would it be related to this? The gnashing jaws of primal horror? Do any one of these birds make me think of gnashing jaws of primal horror? Through the glass, I see rolling hills covered in snow. Didn't miss any hotspots, did I? Don't think so. Okay, well, I can try covering all of them to see if something happens. I wonder if you're supposed to do this in some sort of an order. I don't see what that would accomplish, but... It seems appropriately adventure gamey. This is the only crow, right? The one right here? This was the crow, isn't it? Yep, there's a crow with black and gray feathers. Alright, well that was pointless. That was not terribly productive. What can I do with the cloth? I can burn it. No. I can burn it. Like, burn it, burn it? No. I could put it around the head of the cleaning lady house servant person? No. I 
I could pour some chloroform into it and act like Hitman. No. Okay, I'm going to think about this. I'll be right back. Well, he did say that it looked like he was missing something from the thing upstairs. Maybe the cloth is supposed to be used with it? I don't see how, but, uh... I can try, I suppose. No. I didn't think so. You know, it seems like this thing is connected to the pipes, doesn't it? It seems like there's a big pipe going into it. You can't see it here, but you can see it out here. Remember those pipes going up to, into the ceiling from the bathroom? Hmm. Only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror. Oh, it's the statue out front? The one that does not have its head removed? I don't get it, though. What what are these things again? What are these statues of? A fierce lion. Oh. I, I don't know. I don't associate primal horror with lions. I would associate primal horror with, like, Cthulhu or gargoyles or something. Not lions. But okay. <laughs> There's a lever inside of the lion's mouth. I think it has triggered some mechanism inside the manor. There's also what seems to be the end of this riddle. Only by entering the gnashing jaws of primal horror will you at last know truth. Could this be the last part of the riddle? I thought you just said it was. Alright, something's triggered. Um, I'm gonna guess it's probably back up into the attic. I'm guessing the machine is now active. No? No? Alright, maybe it opened like a secret compartment or something. Statues have not changed. Yeah, I'm guessing like a bookcase opened up or something, or- Oh! Hi! This is new. I didn't even see you there. Ah. Looks like Professor Wright's archive. I should bring Kaufman here at once. I was totally going to explore without Kaufman first, but it forced me into it. <laughs> Bastard. Experiments, 1885. Let us see. Hmm. Have a look at this. Be careful. There's a small key inside the folder. First of August, 1865. Results at last. After many months of tedious observation, something has finally come from the other side. I heard the sound of footsteps, exploring the proximity of the stone archway. This would seem to verify my hypothesis. Absolute horror is the key that we seek. Hmm? Well, I don't know what this other side is, but I don't like it. Absolute horror is the key that we seek. You need absolute horror to what? Open up a portal to the other side. This reminded me a little bit of the Chozo mythos. 20th of September, 1885. Now they have proven themselves useful. I have installed two new devices in the outer tunnels. I dare not go deeper. I have not heard it again, but I know the thing must still be down there, in the dark. Wait, now they have proven themselves useful. 
Oh, the devices have proven themselves useful. Gotcha. Alright, so it sounds like the thing came through. Whatever the thing is. Sounds like it came through this supposed portal. Oh god, something's blacked out. 12th of, of November, 1885. Containment in the underground tunnel has been breached. Something, something gone. Great. Why did you black it out, though? Fifteenth of December, eighteen eighty-five. I have no choice but to abort the experiment. It can no longer be controlled. There is but one thing left to do. I will seal the tunnel and hope that the abomination remains forever entombed within. Oh, this is a callback to the beginning of the game. The person that looked like he was in the mines, attaching the rope to the thing that was supporting up, like the mine entrance or whatever, and he pulled it, and the whole thing came crashing down. Yeah, that's him sealing the tunnel. What? What is this supposed to be? It seems to be a log that the professor kept during one of his experiments, almost seven years ago. It is noteworthy that one of the entries has been redacted. But what is written in there? It cannot be true. It must be some kind of hallucination. A sign of Professor Wright's illness, maybe. Perhaps, though we should not jump to conclusions. We can't conclude that the Professor had another working place, underground. Perhaps that key opens the basement door. There could be a route through to this underground tunnel. Meanwhile, I will keep looking through these documents. There must be something more than that folder among this mess. Well, I kind of hope he was successful in shutting down and sealing the entrance to the tunnel, because I really don't want to go down there if that thing is still there. Which it probably is. It might have been seven years ago, but it probably is living off of the pain and suffering of nearby human souls or something. Who the hell knows? Probably goes into their dreams and sucks their souls out little by little. Like a soul leech. Long series of folders with dates on them. That is fascinating. A set of framed silhouettes. Under each is an inscribed plaque. Oh, this has got to be related to the statues. Yeah. Oh, no. Mr. Strachan was a well-positioned positioned man. He fell madly in love with the younger daughter of the Bartleys, and so he proposed to her. Is this like a riddle to make everybody face a direction of a person that makes sense? I think it is. Okay, so Mr. Strachan was a man, of course. He fell madly in love with the younger daughter of the Bartley. So this is a man. This is obviously a woman, so this would be a man. Fell in love with a woman. That's the woman. Young Agnes fancied the idea of marrying an older man, but she always hid her feelings from her mother. So this should be the mother, I guess? It's kind of hard to tell from these, like, 30-pixel silhouettes. Mrs. Bartley did never take her eyes off her daughter and watch them at all times. Wait, isn't it you who was in love with... Uh, in love with the younger daughter of the Bartleys? And... Mrs. Bartley never took her eyes off her daughter. So that's obviously the mother of the Bartleys. But which one's the mother? I don't know. So it's Agnes Bartley. I think these might be correct. Mr. Bartley tried to show his support for their daughter, but his wife never paid any attention to him. Ah, bingo. That wasn't too bad. Completely absurd and nonsensical, but... Wasn't, wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not that the puzzle itself was nonsensical. Obviously, it was quite logical, which is why I was able to solve it so quickly. But, I mean, the existence of the puzzle is completely nonsensical. Just like pretty much everything in this game. Compartment is open in the wall. Yeah, so what's going to be in here? Because I've already got the key to the basement. What the heck? Oh. 
Another one of these. So we go from the spirally thingy to the maze thingy. Cool legumes. Seems like each one opens up another one of the masks of the statues, so I'm guessing I need to find one more of these to complete it. Maybe when I finish that puzzle with the statues, maybe that'll give me the object that I need to get back the professor's memories. Piles of paper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shredded paper. Okay, don't think I'm missing anything here. Let's go quickly see what's happened with the statues. Mm-hmm. Has unlocked one more. Clergyman has removed his mask. So one more to go, I think. Let's go into the basement. <laughs> A secret passage is opened at the end of the corridor. I know. I just went in there. You know, I was just thinking. If all these keys were hidden around, including the key to the basement, that must mean that nobody had ever gone into these places for probably, like, years? So, I guess they don't keep any vital material in the basement? Like, not even the wood or anything like that? Where do they store it? Completely dark in here. I feel a cold draft coming from the front. Hmm, do I need a light source? I do have some matches. I do have some cloth, too. I could potentially make a torch. If I had, like, oil and a stick or something. Too dark, needs something to light the way. Can I just use matches? Like, straight... Oh, what, what just happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I can just use straight matches. Uh... Um, you gotta light them anytime soon. Okay, took you long enough. What the? Okay, matches last longer than two seconds, come on. Uh, where's the light switch? Screw this. Run out of matches. Okay. What does that mean? I guess I just blindly move to the right? I keep losing control of my character every couple seconds. I think I just fell down the stairs and split my head open, maybe? Alright, we're good. Falling through a hole. Flow of air is stronger here. This looks like the tunnels, the underground tunnels. Looks like a component of some sort of machine. Ah, that stood the thing in the attic. Okay. And... Wait, a working lantern? A working lantern that's already on. Who's been down here recently? This part of the tunnel is blocked by a cave-in. The underground tunnel is not accessible from here. I should go back. 
Alright, so this is the tunnel. But yeah, somebody was down here and left a working lantern on. So somebody must have just been down here, like within hours. And left, left it for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. So somebody was down here. They could have come from here, because this is blocked. What the hell is this? Some kind of electrical device. Hmm. Perhaps tied to the mechanism. Is that a pickaxe? Maybe I can find out where to use it. But what is it? Oh, it's a lever. Oh, I think that goes... That goes to the box. Yeah, that's the component for the machine that he mentioned. Yeah, there's a speaker attached to it, so this is actually connected to the device, because there's a speaker on the device. Okay. But yeah, somebody must have come down here, left a working lantern on down here, came out and then hid the key in that ridiculous puzzle. Keeping in mind that I don't think the cleaning lady did it, and I don't think the guy who's losing his mind did it either. That makes so little sense, it's not even funny. Ah, the last one, I think. From a closed door to an open door. Old furniture has been left here to rot. Yeah, it looks a bit swampy down here. Don't think it's exactly dry. If we cannot access the tunnel mentioned in Professor Wright's log, how can we find the missing parts of his research? I must talk to Kaufman about this. I was able to use the key to explore the basement. There's a large hole in the floor. One side of the hole may lead to some sort of tunnel. But it was completely covered in rocks and debris, so I could not tell for sure. Covered in debris? It sounds as if the professor succeeded in blocking the entrance to this underground area. Hmm. It is unfortunate for us. I've made some progress of my own, my friend. I think this could help us delucidate the next step in our search. Have a look. Today, a meeting finally took place. You see, Mr. Wright, our organization is keenly interested in your research. We could reach an agreement to fund this project. But first, we need to know the details. I understand. The main factor is the condition of the test subject. How open he is to suggestion. As you know, only the human mind can open a physical passage to the other side. So a complete absolute darkness will be required for the experience to result. A secluded place, completely isolated. A place that can only bring thoughts of what may be hiding in the dark. I have the perfect location in mind. But in total darkness and seclusion, how could the results of the experiment be studied or confirmed? That is precisely where your organization can provide help. I've designed a special device that would allow me to listen from a safe distance, but I lack the means to manufacture it myself. That we could arrange. But there's one last thing I would like to know. How would the experience be triggered? By means of a chemical compound of some kind? Do you mean a serum? Not at all. 
That would be of no elegance whatsoever. The trigger is the mind itself, the emotion known as terror. The primal fear that still survives in the depths of our mind, from the times humans were mere beasts. That which allows us to open a physical passage beyond the veil of rational thought. Primal terror is the key that we will use to open the last door. Could this organization be... the playwright? It may be, Mindfrund. If so, then we are closer to the truth than we thought. But in this room, I've been able to find some fragments of information, discarded material. It looks as if the main bulk of documents were moved from this room and hidden somewhere else. The basement tunnel. That seems the most reasonable conclusion. But access to that place is lost, is it not? The entrance was sealed. There may be another access that we do not know about. If we could find and use the device that the professor mentions in his log, I believe we could shed some light on this matter. Okay, well, there's a, there's a lot to take in there. So he was funded, his research was funded by people who could manufacture this device and were interested in his results for some reason. He somehow used the mind itself to produce primal terror? He didn't really go into detail about that part. And the device is to listen in so that he could... He needed total darkness, so that's why the experiments were done in the tunnel. So that they could be done in complete darkness. Which is where the test subject was put inside of, apparently. And the device was to listen in on what was happening. But what would fixing up the device for me do? I could listen in on, on what? The tunnel is sealed. What is there to listen in on? I guess we'll find out. I think it will work now. Actually, before we do that, what's going on here? Because that... Yeah, that... Open the last one. Central statue is standing with its arms open. Okay, so I guess the key is now revealed to me. Um... I should probably go get it, but I don't know if I need it. Let's see, what's going on with this thing? Ah! Alright, I'm gonna go get the key. That scares me. Open its arms, let the clay thing go, and smashed. Clay vessel held by the statue is now broken in many pieces. There's an object among them. It must have hidden, must have been hidden inside. Well, not very well, because I seem to remember that you, when you looked at the clay vase before, or whatever it was, the clay pot, you said there was just enough of an opening to see that there was an object inside. Do you remember that? Remember how you were completely unwilling to smash it open for no good reason? Even though you could have just smashed it and gotten the thing inside right away. Looks like a compass. It must be broken since it does not point north. It's probably not broken. There's probably something going on. Alright, what would I do with a statue? I mean, <laughs> statue. What would I do with a compass? Hey, wait a minute. It's moving. Does it always face a consistent direction depending on where I am? Yes, so it's not random. Hmm. Interesting. What does it mean? It does not point north, but to seemingly random directions. No, I don't think they're random. Oh, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Ooh. Ooh. I do have an idea. I think it's telling me I need to go somewhere other than the manor. Look at this, it's pointing to the left. So I go to the left. 
Now it still says go to the left. Now it says go down to the map. In fact, does it even move as I'm like... Yeah, it even moves as I'm moving through the scene. Yeah, that's not a random direction. I think it's telling me to go out here. Uh, but I can't go in random areas. I can't move here unless I have a node to go to. Hmm. Perhaps I go the opposite direction from where it's pointing? I doubt it. I really should go mess with the device, but I'm curious. Let's go the opposite direction. Nope. Doesn't seem to have done anything. Take a look at the compass, Crow. Or don't. Okay, back to the device. Okay, so I guess, I guess I'm trying to tune it? Is the thing down there broadcasting a radio signal that I need to pick up? Some sort of shortwave thing? Oh, what pleasing music. This sound. Do my ears deceive me? Is that a piano melody? I must see Kaufman at once. Does that mean somebody's playing the piano in the dark down in the tunnel, or what? Not to state the obvious, but it sounds as if someone is still down there, playing the piano, of all things. But how is that even remotely possible? I do not know, but this means something important to us. It means there is another entrance to the underground tunnel. Not necessarily. It could be an immortal monster that has been down there for seven years. Then we must find it. But we have run out of leads. You did not find anything of use in the archive, and Professor Wright continues to mutter incoherently about childhood memories. You must hypnotize the professor... Mein lieber Freund? What does that even mean, by the way? Mein lieber Freund? My good friend? I'm assuming something like that. We are running out of options. And this might be the only way to find the answers we seek. Look at this candle. Fix your eyes on it. Your body is light as a feather. Everything around you fades. You are entering a dark, endless void. Listen to my voice. Where are you? A great number of trees surround me. The sun is setting soon. I can go north and west. Ah, got a bit of a navigation puzzle going on. Um, 
go north? I don't know. I stand beside a waterfall. It is not water that falls, but mud and rock from a great height. They fall and fall into a bottomless abyss. Behind the waterfall lies a tunnel. To the west, I see the edge of the forest. Hmm. Should I go to the edge of the forest? Let's go back. Hmm. Now let's go back north. Go to the edge of the forest. I stand beside the shore. The water wets my shoes, and all around me lie the wrecks of ships. Oh god, I love the sound design. Now there's a distinctive, like, sound s signature for each location. But you can't see it, you can only hear it. But I can really imagine it. That is so cool. the north, something floats in the water. To the east, I can see the edge of the forest. Let's go north, to the thing floating in the water. A body floats in the water. I will not look upon its face. Alright, go back. To the east is back to the edge of the forest. Go south. I'm on the beach. There is a huge rock here. Many birds circle in the sky overhead. To the north, I see the shore. To the west, there's a person. A person? Go meet the person? As soon as I approach, the figure darts between the rocks as though it were frightened of me. Alright, go back. North is the shore, the west there's a person again. Well, can't go to the person now, they're gone. North is where I just came from, right? Yeah. So once again, go south. Go east. Okay, so now I'm back to where I was. Yeah, I could probably actually draw a map of where I'm going, but I don't think I need to. So I can go back west. Go back north. And then to the east should take me back to the waterfall, right? Mm -hmm. This time let's keep going east. I'm in a dark tunnel. Oscar is here as well. He is upset. He yells at me. He begs me to stop. Who's Oscar? The, tun the tunnel divides in many passages. I can go north, south, and west. Well, we came in here by going to the east, right? So wouldn't west take us out? Yeah. Let's go... Let's go north. I'm in a large open space with a piano. Something stands next to the piano. I can't see it clearly. Its face. The tunnel stretches into the dark. Walk down the tunnel. It is a very small room. In the center lies a deep pit. A ladder goes down. It is so dark. Down there, it lies. It waits. I will not continue. I must go back. I can't even go back. Go down the ladder. I cannot. I can hear it with me. It's a breath. Dear God, I must flee. You must continue. It waits for me. It waits down there. I've gone down the ladder. I cannot see. It is pitch dark. I... 
I can feel its breath. It is here. It is with me. <laughs> that surprised me. Uh, wake up. Enough. We went too far, my friend. You're right. I did not think you would react this way. You did well by stopping the trance, Kaufman. I think it would be best if we leave it for today. Let us return to the inn. Reflect tonight on what we have witnessed here. Tomorrow, let's discuss the next steps in our investigation. January 21st, 1893. Come in. Kaufman, are you alright? Worry not, Wakefield. I'm just feeling a bit feeble. It must be all this cold and humidity. <coughs> There's Kaufman earning his name. Yeah, I don't think it's all the cold and humidity. I think you're infected with the Cthulhu. <coughs> Nothing serious. I would like to know your opinion about what we heard during yesterday's session. Do you remember anything that could help us in our search? Of course. Um, I would say... The seaside's important. Yes. The sea was a recurring theme during the hypnotic regression. Yes, it is true. Maybe the entrance to this tunnel is somewhere closer to the coast. Oh, do I just list everything? I guess so. I believe that this underground tunnel has left a deep impression on Professor Wright's subconscious. I agree. The horror he experienced at the end of the session was far too intense to, der to derive solely from his imagination. It speaks of some trauma. Throughout the trance, he saw an unknown figure with no visible face. The floating body in the water. The person near the rocks. The one beside the piano. You know, it just struck me that that's actually reminiscent of the statues, isn't it? Every time I activated each statue, they removed their face, they removed their mask, and there was nothing underneath. They had no face. Yes, indeed. But I'm afraid it is too soon to unveil the true meaning of those images. Professor Wright mentioned a man that shouted at him near the entrance to the tunnel, begging him not to continue. I cannot remember his name. Oh, it was Oscar. Very good. It was Oscar. We should attempt to find him. He may know something about Professor Wright's fears. Indeed, mein Freund. If we can find this man, I am sure we will shed some light upon the mystery. Why don't you go to the village and try to find out something about Oscar? <coughs> my apologies, but I must stay here and recover my strength. He's so going to be dead by the time I get back to him. He's so dead. Oh, just watch. I'm going to get back and there's going to be like crows have broken through the window and they're like pecking out his eyes and shit. You know it's going to happen. Alright, let's go to the town square. Alright, well, before I continue, I think I should end this episode here. But uh, before I end it, I just want to say that section towards the end there, when I was guiding him through the hypnotic regression through the hypnosis and kind of talking to him like my my control over him as the player was basically as the person doing the hyp hypnosis the person telling him where to go and what to do I was I was the one guiding him but just the way that you actually got to hear his thoughts and actually see actually see him going through the hypnotic regression and the way that there was a unique sound kind of just unique sound sort of profile for each location that he visited kind of forming this well quite literally forming a, a mental a mental map because you're navigating north and south and east and west and you're navigating around nodes in an actual map but you can't see them you can only hear them so it forced me to really imagine what this place looks like 
you know, to the east, like to the north a little bit is a waterfall, to the east is further into the forest, to the west is to the water, to the coast. It forced me to really get inside and it, it really amplified the horror. That was actually really creepy because I couldn't see anything. I could just see him and his lantern, but I was forced to imagine everything. That was really, really good. Like, seriously, that section was awesome. I think that's one of my favorite sections in, in this entire game. In the entire series so far. And I feel like sections like those pop up every once in a while in this, in this series. The last one that I can specifically remember is I think there was a section where you had to, like, escape out of um, a casket, I believe. I think that was the episode, or at least around the episode, um... I think that was the beginning of the episode after the hospital place. I think that was the beginning of the episode, wasn't it? Where you wake up and you have to, like, crawl out of the coffin or something? Get yourself out of the coffin, and... That's when you woke up in a strange place, and I was in, like, a weird dreamland kind of place or something. I think so. Anyway, yeah, this game just... Th this series often does really cool stuff, and that was one of the coolest. That was a really, really good section. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed so far. And when I return, I will try to find this Oscar.